This is the uh, first design I did. A big and complex little crawler. With two XL motors and uh, a gearbox with two gears and a third motor that can remotely switch between the two gears. And you see my hand in there. I'm desperately trying to steer uh, the vehicle with a servo motor and th the problem is with the remote control that it just is not very reactive. The best thing you can do is to hit the red stop button which brings the uh, wheels back into the normal position quickly. Um, so that was the, one of the bigger problems with it and also uh, the gearbox remained a problem. The, the gears on the axles shifted every once in a while and then you start here cracking so that's definitely a big problem. So this whole crawler is full of functions, you know, looks great, but, you know, not exactly functional. And uh, you already see it here, you know, you hear it cracking. Now here you see the crawler coming up on an edge, and uh, the ground was very slippery here, so it's not a problem except the crawler. And you can see that all the wheels are actually turning, so there's enough torque there, it's just that the ground was very slippery. And here the crawler is really going up the hill nicely. Everything's working fine, low gear, making its way up there. Um, so this is an example from, it actually did work. Uh, this is the way down. Well, it survived this kind of spin. And uh, it has the higher gear now, so it's much faster. But you see how long it takes to actually, you know, steer in any kind of direction. Um, and uh, as soon as it comes down and goes on a flat surface, you now it can really drive much faster and this is working very well. And down there it's all alright.